I have no idea what I'm doing, guys, by the way. <laughs> I am trying to do a live die, and I'm trying to add an additional camera. And I've got the, it says it's connected. Well, I mean, no, I don't know. We will enter the studio as a guest. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, maybe. Uh, let me just put a, I don't know, just a letter. <laughs> I didn't know I needed to do that. Okay. <laughs> I need to mute this one. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot. Ah, sweet. Yay. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so um, I didn't put it in the title. Should have put it in the title. But today we're, I'm going to be dying some fingering weight uh, cotton in the colorway believe by Petra and hello I'm sorry I gotta get a little bit closer um Vanessa what a pretty name thank you for joining my live stream this is my very first ever live dive so we'll see how this goes I would like to be able to do this weekly I don't know if that's going to happen, but I would like to try to do a 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time Thursdays weekly. And a lot of people have been encouraging me to do live dives, so we'll see what happens. So I'm going to start off by, I need to get the mixture that I need to soak these hanks, and I actually need to put tie wraps on them first. You guys are getting an idea basically what I do. Me personally, I use yellow tie wraps for fingering weight. I can always tell cotton from acrylic from wool, but as far as the weights, I can't always tell those apart. So I have different color codes I have for each weight. So fingering weight, I use yellow. And I don't use any certain amounts of anything. I just, I have some salt water here that it has to sit at least 24 hours. Just um, a little bit of salt in. Uh, I use unidized salt. And I put it on the camera here so you can see. Or I can move the camera. <laughs> but I'm just going to put enough in here to soak the yarn in. to get it good and wet and to the salt water I will add a little bit of this is not butter by the way <laughs> this is soda ash and when combined with the salt water it makes a chemical reaction that causes the fiber reactive dyes to take to the yarn it's, it's the fixative for this. And I don't have any certain amounts I do. I just put it in there and go with it. it takes a little bit to get this dissolved because once it hits the water, it kind of chunks up a little bit. So you have to start until it is completely dissolved. Hello, Miss Ola Joe. <laughs> this is my very first live, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I was hoping to be able to do live dives weekly, perhaps, maybe. We'll see. But um, I am dying Petra's color right today in some fingering weight cotton. I'm getting ready to make the soak for it. I have salt water and I have soda ash. And once you get this completely dissolved, this water will become cloudy. That's, that's a good way of knowing that it is completely stirred in. But yeah, these two, do a, since I'm not a chemist, I, I, I wasn't even the best at science, maybe a B or so. But um, somehow they these two, the soda ash and the salt water, make some sort of a chemical reaction. 
Oh, thank you, Miss Ola Jo. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hello, Ivy Creates. Almost there. I'm waiting for it to be kind of cloudy. And I also get to show you guys how I make one of the dies because one of them just happens to be empty. So that's, I'm kind of glad of that because I get to show you how that's done as well. And if any of you have seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I've been through a lot of trial and error with cotton yarn. Um, it's kind of picky. You know, it's, um, it can be pretty vibrant in one minute, not one minute, but like when it's wet before it's rinsed, it can be very vibrant. And then once it's dry, washed and dry, it kind of tends to lose a lot of the vibrancy. So I've done a little bit of homework and found out that it is the chemical reaction between the soda ash and the salt water, the salt that really makes the colors pop. And of course, some colors I've learned need to be more concentrated than others. Red is a good example. I've made several Be Sweet Don't Be Ugly. I have to use a 2% solution of the red that I use for hers, which is an oxblood red. An Alaskan crafter. Hello and welcome. Okay, so now I am soaking the finger and weight cotton. I'm for those just coming in, I am making, I'm dying the color away, believe, by Patriot today. And we'll put that aside while that sits, while it soaks. Get my handy dandy little rag here. <laughs> so, like I was saying, I have the purple and I have the light gray and I have the dark gray. I need to make the teal. So let me get that jar and I'll show you how that's done. And of course, I'm not going to give away my secret of what colors I use, but you can watch the rest. <laughs> All right, so these are 800 milliliters up to here. And in order for this to be... Um, I just make a, usually I make a 1% solution of everything, but for this particular shade of teal, I combine two different colors. So I will be making a 1% of the green and a half of a percent of the blue. I combine green and blue to make the shade of teal that you chose. So the green. A half a percent it, it's well the way it works is it is one gram for every 200 um, milliliters so for the half percent I would need just one gram for 800 perhaps I should move my camera a little bit wipe this off make sure no residue travels over to the blue And in this one, I do a 1%, which is what I normally do. So that would be four. Kirsten, would you like to? So off my sephir help? Would you like to say hello? Okay. This is my daughter, Kirsta. Hi. She, uh, if I decide to do this frequently, she'll probably be helping me out with the tech stuff over there. Because I can barely, barely see. Thank you, Miss Ola Jo. Such You're getting a, a lot of comments in the chat, though. Yeah. Something I really love using to stir up these dyes, though, after I get all of the excess off of my measuring spoon. I'm 
my favorite thing to use <laughs> to stir these jars is just a plain old metal skewer. Works perfect. Kind of reminds me of those glass wands that chemists use. I think those have a name, but I can't remember. Yeah, me neither. I explained how I, I think I had a B in science, so not the best in science. Really? I had an A. Deb's Crochet Cafe. Hello, Deb. You want to make sure, okay, it's something I've learned too. Any indie dyer knows this and can cringe right along with me. Turquoise or anything containing the color of turquoise can be hard to get mixed up. It, I like, I don't know if this is the appropriate word, but it reminds me of coagulation. It can actually get into little chunks and is that Seta? Hello, Seta and Seth. Hello. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> we are dyeing some Believe by Patriot today in some fingering weight cotton. But I bring you guys along with me. Dang, you get more viewers on your live streams than I do. Oh. <laughs> Krista's Toy Room, if anybody would like to subscribe to my daughter. She does anime toy reviews. Yeah, and Genshin plays, Impact. Plays Genshin Impact, does live streams. She's 24, 20. Oh my gosh. 24? <laughs> <laughs> and autistic. <laughs> She's getting to that age where you have to count up. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of me. But it's not okay. hard to keep track of I what I, I like. Now. I like to kind of start up and then kind of tap on the bottom, see if I feel any parts. You have a little drink of this sitting right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, you are good. All right, enough of that racket. <laughs> so my next move, get my little sponge. Huh? Can I help with that part? Well, I love doing that. I know you do. I know you do. I like it when you help out with the rinsing. <laughs> That's the hard part, guys. That's good. That's when you definitely need some put your back into it. <laughs> Especially if you got a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna go ahead and open up these dies. Oh that's why I'm getting impact made my back area right here. Hurt. I don't know why I'm hearing the voice in there, but is the audio sounding okay on y'all's end? I haven't heard anybody complain about it. I muted my other camera, this one. Don't you need some tin foil to put down right yes, here? I do. Esmeralda, hello, welcome, dear. I got it. So this is what makes makes it portable. I put it down on some foil. Of course, I have this piece of um, underlayment wood here, but I lay it out on this foil first so that when I get more, I can just shift this to a, a flat surface, and then I can bring the board back and reuse that. So what color are you doing now? I'm doing Believe by Petra. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think I have you seen, I don't think I've seen that one before. Oh, I think you have. I like the purple one though. So right now I am wringing out the water. And I will say that certain yarns I wring out to a certain degree more than others. Um, I pretty much get most of the water out of this one. But if I'm doing Karen, if I'm doing, um, oh my goodness, my mind just went blank. If I'm doing, if I'm doing a yarn addict with Karen's colorway, then uh, keep coming back. There it is. Then I will leave actually more water in it than usual because it's speckled and it helps bring it out a little bit more. And two, I mean, I, I'm still learning a lot of stuff as well. In fact, I just learned yesterday how just simply taking the dye powder and stirring it up and breaking it up into smaller pieces can, uh, of course, it makes the, the powder smaller and it makes the speckle smaller as well. All right, so we lay it out like this. 
and I need to grab me one more. Seriously, paint that is the most fun part ever. Yeah, Crystal loves doing that part. That's always make it the goodie bag that you put in with the orders. This one will do. Okay. Let me put this in a bigger jar. Let that soak a little bit. Here's these two. Yep, one in there and light gray. Yep. Okay, we can take this away. Now the fun part. <laughs> I want to. Like do I said, this. it doesn't matter really how long it sets, as long as it gets good and saturated. You know, I mean, you could pretty much take it, put, put it in, take it right back out if you really wanted to. Just as long as it gets good and saturated. That's all that matters. This one's a bit right out of now, view I'm just right here. On getting this end is out of view on that one. I don't know if I can fix that. Watch me mess it up. Well, no, it ain't. No, you can see it. You can see the tie wrap. See? I can move it up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more wouldn't hurt. There. That's better. Okay. So, this is my best way of... I like to start in the middle first. Because then I can get a pretty much a halfway mark. So I'm going to start with the light gray. And I'm going to put that in the middle. And watch how this changes. Um, it is the the, um, the, fiber the fiber reactive dye mixing with the salt water and the soda ash. It kind of... Watch it not do it today. <laughs> It will usually start off as a light gray, and then it will kind of break into some browns. Normally, but maybe not today. <laughs> it's like a child. You tell them, tell somebody they can do something, and then they won't do it in front of them. But this is really pretty. So I do the halfway mark. I'm trying to kind of see the comments. So if anybody says anything to me and I don't see it, please forgive me. I had to put the camera way down there. Hello, Keith, and welcome. Good to see you. Okay. So you guys get to see how I do the gradient. That's really fun. Let me go ahead and do a couple spots of the dark gray. So the, what, pa what patron wanted in her yarn was a gray, not a real, real, real light gray, but just like a kind of a light gray with darker grays, splotches. So what I do for that is just put a couple drops here and there. This isn't this thing I normally use, but and I suppose it's okay to call this out. The person that this yarn belongs to. Is her name is Alyssa, and I, I'm pretty sure she's the same one that has the channel um, Anaya's Toy Box. So this is her order. She ordered two of these. Okay, that's that. Okay, now I'll show you guys how I do this gradient effect. It's different for all you know fibers. Well, it's, it's kind of different. Well, it's not really a whole lot different. It's mostly different with the wool. But with the cotton and the acrylic, it's kind of similar how I do it. It's just um, it's a little bit easier and more um, forgiving, I guess you could say, with the cotton than it is with the acrylic. Because the acrylic, of course, I put it in the microwave to set the colors and... It doesn't always stay where I put it because of the heat and the melting and whatnot. So what I do is I go down it a little ways like this. I think you guys can still see. Yeah. And this is my first stream. So trial and error. Whatever works, I'll keep. Whatever doesn't work, I'll change. I like to kind of put it on heavy as well. That 
not only helps it go down through the layers, but of course makes it bolder. And then I'll go down to like right about here. I'll take it here. Let me fill in some of these areas, make sure it's good and saturated. And now I'll take this and I'll I'll start like right around here. I don't want to make all of it gradient, but I'll start like right about here and I'll just roll the die up this way like this. And that gives it the gradient effect like that. Push it a little bit into the gray as to try to eliminate some of the white. Dang, that does look like fun. <laughs> it is. That's why I do it. Why don't I get it to do any? Well, this is kind of a part that I should be doing. But there's lots of ways. She actually helps me with my little goodie bags that you guys get. Um, those of you that order yarn, it could be one hank, it could be 20 or whatever. You'll get a little business car with a, a bag of tea and a homemade stitch marker and she's the one that puts them all to puts them in the baggies for me it's such fun. a big big help it's fun to do that <laughs> god rocks that's esmeralda she's a sweetheart yeah it is fun i love doing this Oh no, Tim Peter. <laughs> My husband's home. He called me when I was setting up for the live stream. I was like, oh no, I'm getting ready to do my first live stream. It's like, oh, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. <laughs> That's someone new. But I can't see far away. <laughs> I bit myself I love again. These colors combined, they're so pretty. I like purple. Yeah, it's your favorite color. And I like this color. So just like I did with the teal, I'll go down to you know, like right around in here. Let me go in and make sure everything's good and saturated. Okay, now once again, I'll start like right around in here and I'll push it forward. I do it kind of easy at first when I'm back here because it will make a big mess if I don't. <laughs> and obviously I don't use that hand. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pushing it forward, give it that gradient look. Let it fade into the gray. And of course, it pushes it down into the layers a little better. Gonna blend this section here a little bit. So there, there is that side. So let me flip it over. Now we get to do this side. I'm gonna rinse my hands though. So I don't wanna get this on any other section. And um, 
trying to see if I'm missing any. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Meralda. I love doing it. I found my calling. <laughs> the Lord led me into this. I never, I mean, I love playing with yarn and making stuff with yarn, but now I love doing even more stuff with yarn. <laughs> And something else that is a, um, what sets the color is time. And that's something that took me a little bit of practice, a little bit of trial and error to figure out. Because, you know, with heat, I mean, with the acrylic and wool, it's, you know, it's normally heat set. But cotton is time set. And I've actually found the longer it, it sets well, I mean, once you hit like 18 hours, it doesn't really make much much of a difference. I mean, I'm sorry, not 18, 36, a day and a half. It doesn't make as much of a difference. But as long as you got at least 24 hours, you're going to get good results. So that's what I do, 24, at least 24. Sometimes I, I do, I've done more than that if I'm too busy with something else. But the longer it sits, the better. Or you know, up to a certain amount. So since I know where every order is, I can pretty much just do it whatever order. Go ahead and get the gray though. This is really fun. It's not really that hard to do. I mean, it, this live streaming, it's not that hard to do. I thought I would be messing with it for a long time. And I was shooting for a three o'clock. I think I might have been five after or so. <clears throat> not quite sure where there's, I'm wondering if I got some powder somewhere because I'm seeing some speckling in here. That stuff really flies. Let me tell you guys, it really flies. You just, I was supposed to warp my respirator, which I've got hanging over there, but no quicker, no longer than it took me. <laughs> By the time I took it, put it on, take it back off, I could have done had it mixed up. So now if I'm using basic dye, that stuff is really strong. That's for, um, that's for acrylic yarn and that stuff will dye anything. So it's best to use something for that. Or wear a mask, I mean. Respirator, actually. Let's go ahead and do the splotches. Yeah, I'll probably get Kirsta involved on this, my daughter, so that she can keep an eye on the chat for me. Because it's a good three feet from me probably and it looks like I'm gonna need some better lighting I've got a circle light I can bring out for that camera for this one <laughs> so glad to, I actually wasn't really Looking for anybody or hardly anyone to pop in. That's really cool. Glad y'all were able to find me and <clears throat> pop in for a little. Don't know how long I've been, but this is all I'm doing today on camera. Of course, I have more to do after this but <clears throat> off camera. Just thought I would bring you guys along for this. Finally getting some warmer weather where we are. Unfortunately, I think some of the bad stuff headed north, northeast, north, northwest, actually, to the Midwest, to the New England states. But we finally got some rain today and some snow melting. We had snow stuck around for a long time because it was so cold, <coughs> nothing was melting. 
as you can see from doing the other side this side just kind of came right through so it wasn't near as much dye needed or near as much blending needed but that's it right there I will take this yarn and set it outside on my table and that's where it will set Jax hey girl how are you <laughs> sorry I'm just now noticing you coming in <laughs> This is my first ever live stream, live dye, and I'm hoping to be able to do this more often. But um, for now, this is all I've got for today. Um, again, I'm glad everybody could pop in here and say hello. Oh, do you love it? I can't wait to see what you make with it. I actually haven't seen anybody yet, any finished objects with the Keep Coming Back yarn. I'm dying to see something. I think Karen's actually getting ready to make something with hers after she makes a blanket. But somebody, please, please go go on. If anybody has Instagram and ha, you buy some of my yarn, please go on there and share at Crochet and Agreement any of your mates. I, I love seeing everything that's made. Some I get some through email. Um, I get some through um, Etsy. Please show what you make. I love. That's the best part. That is the best part of it all is seeing what you guys come up with. So I'm going to let you guys go, and I appreciate you coming in here and hanging out with me, and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.